Greetings and welcome. Uh, we've been talking about natural logarithms, the natural number, Euler's number, E, 2.718281828, uh, going on forever. Uh, problem 29 here asks us to graph uh, this pair of equations on the same axes. Um, now, graphing y equals ln of x, it can be a little bit tricky, maybe picking the right values to plug in that. First of all, I'd actually like to point out you can't even plug in a negative number in for x uh, because it would be undefined. So it's got a restricted domain where x has to be greater than 0. Um, so typically, since these are inverses of one another, I don't know if you noticed that, uh, I'll typically graph y equals e to the x first, um, or make at least a table of values for it, uh, and then switch the x and the y's in order to find ln of x, uh, which would be its inverse, inverses. Uh, so maybe let's plug in some numbers like this. Do, 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 do. And I think I've pre-calculated some of these. So this would be like, these are all going to be ugly. 1, 3, 5, 3, 4. Uh, this one is 0. 0.3678. Ocho, ocho. Uh, this one is, uh, actually, what would e to the 0 be? 1. 1. And what would e to the 1 be? 2 Yeah. It'd be e, which is the 2.7... One eight two eight one eight two eight one eight two oh I missed one eight one eight two eight blah 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 right and let's get one more and I've got seven point three eight nine one so that means for this function's inverse y equals ln of x which means log base e of x that that table would be the same except the old switcheroo and maybe for sake of time I won't I'm just gonna write this or it's like a little XY smiley face uh, I'm implying that I'm just gonna switch those things around is all I'm doing so to graph this I believe I could do something like this um, looks like I have to go as far as negative 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should do it. Uh, so let's graph the first one. Um, so negative 2.1, uh, that's tiny. Negative 1.3, tiny-ish. 0, 1. Uh, 1, 2.7, so that would be about here, and then over to up 7.3 would be about there. So this graph is uh, looking like this, where it's an exponential curve, um, and this curve actually has some very interesting properties of it. Uh, maybe I could foreshadow that real quick, a little, little foreshadowing here. It turns out if I asked you to find the slope of this curve, all right, like imagine like a tangent line where the line that hits at exactly one point on this curve there or the line that hits exactly at one point here. It turns out the slopes of all of those lines are equal to the y value. So the slope of this line here would equal 1 because that y value is 1. The slope of this line here uh, would equal uh, the 2.71828 would be the slope of that line. So up 2.71828 over 1. So kind of a weird relationship that this line has y values that represent its own slope at instantaneous moments. Craziness. But anyways, uh, so let's look at uh, ln of x. So it's going to be the reciprocal, no, not quite, uh, where I, I exchange the x and the y. So I'd go over 0.13 down 2, right? I'd go over 0.36 down 1. I'd go over 1 and not up or down anything. I'd go over 2.71828 and go up 1. And then I'd go over 7.3 and go up 2. And I end up with a vertical asymptote. Mm. 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 And it turns out that uh, these are mirrored uh, mirrors of one of each other, over the line y equals x. 
EX equals X. Excellent. Um, so that's, uh, you know, kind of one way you could do that. And based on the graph of this logarithm, you can verify and see that it would make sense that it couldn't really have any uh, negative x values, right? Because of this vertical asymptote it's going on here. Or the exponential is a horizontal asymptote. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's see. So, I hear you guys have questions about finances, about Kang. Now that really reminds me of Krang from the Ninja Turtles. I saw a Krang Lego guy. Yeah, that's right. They What's make Krang? Krang is the little pink octopus brain dude from the Ninja Turtles. He was a bad guy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. T U R T L E power. Um, like the old ones or the like cartoon ones that are on there? I, I'm not sure. I'm, I imagine both because if he exists, definitely the older cartoon. I don't think he ever made it into the like the live action movies. But then, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Some interesting stuff, but uh, but either way, he exists as a Lego now, and I was just impressed. They make Ninja Turtles Legos, so I thought that was pretty impressive. Uh, Kang is saving money on a trip to go to Europe after his college graduation. <sighs> Kang. He will finish college five years from now. Kang. Uh, if the five-year certificate of deposit he buys pays for 7.25% interest compounded continuously, whoa, we just heard some facts. So I heard that R is equal to 0 0.0725, and it's compounded continuously. Wah, 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 wah. So that tells me I'm not going to use uh, the other formulas. I'm going to use A pert. A equals P times E to the RT uh, is the continuously compounded interest function formula, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's keep going with this. How much should he invest in order to have at least, at least, ooh, that sounds like uh, an inequality, if I might say so myself, uh, $3,000 for the trip. So what does he want? He wants A, his ending money, to be 3000 3, right? And, oh, wait, we also knew something else. We knew time five years from now. Uh-huh. So we're actually trying to solve for the P here. So we'll have uh, 3,000, and we want his amount to be greater than or equal to that. So equals P times E to the R 0 0.0725 times time, which is 5 as well. There we go. Um, so let's solve this. Uh, now technically, E to this value... Uh, is just a number. Well, mm, let me multiply out 0 0.725 times 5, 0 0.0725, right? 0 0.0725 times 5. And I'll get, uh, this is 3,000 is less than or equal to P times E to the 0 0.3625. That's a weird looking 6, but that's fine. Uh, so to solve for the P, what would I do? Divide by e to the 0 0.3625. e to the 0 0.3625. Right, right? Uh, so I'll end up with um, this. So I'll have second e to the second answer divided by... <coughs> nope, other way around. 3,000 divided by that. And I will get uh, 2087.880. So P must be greater than or equal to 2087.80. That's the ugliest 8 I've ever written. Um, and that's what we found, yeah. So at least that much money he needs to invest. And in five years, he'll have almost a grand more. That's not bad. Not terrible. No way is mass small. So, uh, so there's our little finance question. Um, compound continuous formula, right there. Ape, ert, apert. So, uh, are we good? 
we're good. 10 minute video ending right now.